This is my first flight of 2025. Beautiful day. And we're doing the battery capacity test. Thanks to Reg's talk at AirVenture, which inspired me to do this old school style. The presentation at AirVenture last year was packed. Capacity check. This is always, you know, people think you need expensive equipment and all this. No, this is very easy. You can use your own airplane and your iPhone timer. I mean, you don't need anything sophisticated. So I recommend even experimental customers like that, especially if you have electronic ignition, because, you know, reserve capacity matters. You should always have an idea how long it runs. All right, so my current setup, I'm drawing 26 amps. So my back voltmeter is off. I have avionic battery going off, so that's coming down to zero. Again, you don't need anything special. You just flip on your normal, normal loads, start a timer. Start a timer. All right, so as a 328, failing the alternator. Low volts, zero amps. I say one of the two things, go till it hits 12.0 volts. There's no reason to go beyond 12.0. You're already very deeply discharged. Or you go until you're comfortable. So if you want one hour, I got one hour reserve capacity, go an hour. If you make it an hour, stop and test, log in the logbook, yep. These are all the loads I had on and I made one hour. Holding on, it's 12.7 volts for a while now. Amp hours is exactly what it says. Amps times hours. So 10 amps for one hour, 10 amp hour. You just do that every annual. And you have the confidence to know we've got an hour of reserve capacity. <laughs> and every year you know you still do, right? Okay, I'm in the pattern, sterile. But my experiment is over. I'm at 28 amps, battery is back to 4.1 volts. That worked perfectly.